Cities and School, which is now uh, Communities and School, Anil Shorthouse. He was uh, he was quiet. He was always quiet. Uh, you know, kind of like a quiet storm, not in a not a storm like a uh, tsunami, but uh, a quiet storm. He would get things done. Uh, very mild mannered. You would see him, and, and he would show up. Uh, you, you, I didn't, I didn't really see him do a lot of talking, but uh, a lot of stuff was getting done. So I, I think when I look at the the Dave Lewis and of course his mentee Bobby Garrett, when I look at what they did, the one thing that I say that they, I took away that they instilled in me was it, again, it was one of the first times that I had seen real men step up to the plate and come back to their communities and try to make a difference and selflessly in trying to just give back. And I used to question, because initially I thought, what, what, what's, what's their aim? What's their angle? What are they trying to get from me? I always thought that somebody was always trying to get over it. And I think they put me at ease to make me realize initially, uh, and then as a result of being around them over the years, they made me realize that it's okay to step out there and, and try to make things better than, than the way you found them. And I think more than um, We were not just, um, just any group of kids, we were his kids. I took some of the things that I learned uh, working with uh, young people and also watching Dave work with us just as well. It taught us how to be be conscious of what we're doing and what we're saying around young people and to be very, very, very proactive in the work that we're doing and not wait on things to happen. So I've learned so much just from being a part of communities and schools, CIS, Exodus, I've learned how to do what I'm doing now and some say I do it well, some say I do it okay, but the kids that I work with, they say that we do a great job. So uh, During my training up under Miss Martin with Mr. Lewis, up under Tony Owens with Neil Shorthouse. I uh, developed leadership skills, uh, my ability to speak in front of people. It, it was developed. Uh, success became, uh, became a part of the normal, everyday routine for me. Uh, he was, was a father, not just to me, to a lot of people, but he was a father to me. He, it was like he loved us unconditionally. He could see through all of the dirt and muck and issues that we had and he always saw the good in us and you knew that instantly. He instantly had that effect on you. You instantly felt better. You all you felt like you could do anything because he wasn't judging us. He wasn't discarding us. He didn't see us as a problem. He saw us as hope. He saw our potential. He saw the greatest in us, the things that even we didn't see. He was a totally sincere, strong, compassionate, remarkable man. And, and there was something so special about him that really connected to the best part of young people.